Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Winston and in today's video I'm going to be walking you through how I installed the filters into my ZWO electric filter wheel. I've just got some video going on in the background that should hopefully give you guys a visual aid as to what is going on. Uh, and let's just get right to it. So here I'm just unscrewing the screws on the back of the electric filter wheel with the included screwdriver. Uh, these screws just follow the outside edge of the case and hold the back plate on. So once all the screws are loosened, the back plate will just lift out of place, as you can see there. As you can see, I'm taking the luminance filter out of the case. Uh, they are encased in a layer of plastic and then wrapped in soft paper to protect it while in transit. Uh, I don't have any video of installing the first luminance filter, as I wanted to focus on getting it done right. However, I do have uh, some footage of in installing the red filter, which is what is being played now. And it's the same process as the luminance filter, just, you know, red. Uh, <laughs> you do want to take your time with each and every filter though, as they are rather expensive little pieces of glass that you don't want to get your fingerprints on. Uh, it's best not to touch the surface of the filters at all, um, and you only want to pick them up by the very, very edges. Here I am carefully lowering the filter into the cutout spot, making sure that I get it into the hole. When the filters do miss the hole and don't sit in the recessed spot, I used a wooden toothpick pressed against the outside rim of the filter to push them into the spot where they needed to be. Uh, this filter was the best way that i found to not get any greasy fingerprints on the filter or the ones around it. Now comes the securing of the filter onto the platter. The EFW from ZWO comes with very small washers and screws. You want to put the washer onto the screw first, and then the screw into the hole. The small washer, that I think is made of nylon, presses up against the filter and doesn't scratch it like a metal on glass contact would. You lightly tighten all of the screws in all three spots around the filter, being sure not to over tighten any one side, as this can cause optical distortions and unwanted stress on your nice little pieces of glass. So I don't really have any good video of this next part, but I found it very important that when you're installing narrowband filters, if you have them, that you orientate the anti-reflective coating the right way. So basically what happens is one side of the filter has a reflective coating and the other side doesn't. So on the screen here you can see if you put an object close to the filter, you'll be able to see which side to face. So if, uh, if it has two reflections, blue and red, face the camera sensor. Uh, if you screw it up and you have the anti-reflective coating the wrong way, you'll have a whole bunch of light bouncing around in the camera sensor and you'll end up with a picture like what's on the screen here, the horse head nebula. Um, so yeah, when you're installing the filters, take your time. I used a little bit of paper that the filter came in to flip it over and back just to make sure that I was putting the right side up. Uh, it's not as black and white as the pictures make it out to be, but generally you can get a good idea of which way to put it. Uh, if worst comes to worst, you can just take off the back of the filter wheel and flip it over. Um, shouldn't be too hard. I then found it beneficial after the filter was securely tightened into place to blow any dust particles off that might have found their way onto it with a DSLR sensor cleaner. You don't want to use an air compressor because it's just way too much airflow. You don't want to also use canned air because it produces moisture on the surface that you're spraying on. And you also want to really make sure that you don't use your mouth as this, is, this has a high chance of leaving bits of spit on the glass as well as unnecessary moisture that will also come out. And that's it, after you're done installing all, the, all of the filters that you have bought, you will just pretty much screw the back plate back onto the filter wheel and plug it in and configure it in your software like SGP or Nina. Uh, I made sure to write down what filters I put into what slot on a piece of paper, uh, but you can probably just remember it as LRGB HA03 S2. Thanks for watching, hopefully now you know how to install filters into your ZWO filter wheel.